Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This video is going to be about the hardest part or parts of my job and what is it that I do to unwind and to enjoy my days off. Today I went to Starbucks, I visited Joanne Fabrics, I planted spinach seeds, and I read a little bit of my book. And those are just a few things that I do on a Sunday just to unwind and relax um, and get ready for the following week. I would have to say the number one hardest part about being a funeral director and embalmer, in my opinion, is meeting with families. When I sit with families in an arrangement conference, sometimes the family dynamics are different. Actually, all the time they're different. Um, there are families that are fighting. There are families, you know, they have issues and they bring them to you to kind of uh, maneuver through. Um, but you yourself have to stay out of their family issues and provide them with services that you offer and so um, sometimes it can be hard to not get involved and in, in, you know separate yourself from what it is they're bringing to you um, there are families that want to laugh throughout an arrangement conference and that's the way they deal with death there are families that want to cry throughout which is normal and so each and every family deals with death differently and sometimes you don't know what you're getting into and I believe that is the hardest part of being a funeral director. Sometimes it's not easy. Um, you don't know what they're going to say to you. You don't know what they're going to need. Sometimes people need you to sit there and just listen to what it is they have to say. Another part of my job that I would say I find difficult is that you're around death 24-7. Um, elderly deaths, teenage deaths, young adults, babies, um, fetuses. So you're around death most of the time and in a way you do become desensitized and not in a way where you don't care about what you're doing but you're around it so much it, it becomes normal. And so there are times where I have this like, I come to and realize that I'm around dead people all the time. And sometimes that can have it, an emotional and psychological effect on you. And that's something that can be hard and you have to find outlets and you have to really enjoy your time off and allow yourself to recharge because it does take a lot of um, energy, emotionally, physically, um, just out of you. And so I, I believe that is a very stressful part of being a funeral director and embalmer. I would say this job is not the cleanest job and it is not the easiest job. Um, a lot of people think that it's going to be very easy until you actually are involved in arrangement conferences, when you are embalming, when you are actually dealing with families and, and trying to make it all work for everyone, it can be very difficult. I would say that um, another very difficult aspect of my job has to be um, number one for me. You have to create boundaries when you are a funeral professional. Sometimes you are on call. Sometimes you have schedules that um, require you to be on the job and sometimes your your days off are taken away and I I would say to a person entering the funeral industry a person in the funeral industry you have to create boundaries when you have two days off 
those are your two days off. If you decide that you don't want to hear from the funeral home for those two days, that is on you to create those boundaries. And um, if you do have a day off, I say you take it and forget about the funeral. Funerals happen every day. Um, focus on yourself, your mental health. Um, focus on your family if you have one. Um, focus on anything other than your work. And um, that's kind of hard sometimes because um, it can be busy, but you are number one in this whole equation. The funeral home, you know, cannot run without a funeral director. And if that funeral director is tired, um, overworked, and just not happy, you know, the families aren't going to be happy. So I would say that is an important part. Um, boundaries and enjoy your time off.